Are you thinking about a move to the Levine, Arizona area, but are wondering about the elementary schools? Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm David Baker. I'm a real estate agent here in the Phoenix area with Keller Williams Realty. This channel is all about real estate and information that hopefully will help you make an informed decision in your best interest. Please go ahead and like, subscribe, and make sure to hit that little bell. That way you're notified every time I upload a new video. So you're considering a move to the Levine, Arizona area, but you still are wondering, what are the schools in the area like? Are there several school options in the area? What elementary school is my kid going to go to? These are questions that I'm going to help you address by telling you a little bit about the schools in the area of Levine, Arizona. So basically when it comes down to it, the area of Levine goes from ballpark around 27th Avenue on the east side all the way over to about 75th Avenue over on the west side and the Indian Reservation. On the south side, you've got the South Mountain Preserve as well as the Indian Reservation and uh, it borders the Rio Salado on the north side. And as long as you're within those boundaries, you can attend any one of the public Levine Elementary schools, except for there's two that require a little bit more, Vista del Sur and Paseo Point. There is a couple extra requirements for those two schools. Um, but right now, at the attendance boundaries, as long as you're within the Levine Elementary School District, you can attend any one of those particular schools. So located within the Southwest Valley, they have 7,000 plus students. Actually, they're closer to 8,000. They've got the eight schools of which um, are Cheatham Farms, Desert Meadows, Levine Elementary, MC Cash, Paseo Point, Rogers Ranch, Trail Site Point, Vista del Sur, and coming soon, the Estrella Foothills Global Academy, which will be over by Carver and 51st Avenue. I'll tell you, all of these buildings are relatively new. They have great facilities, they offer sports, they offer intramurals, they offer, you know, music, they offer chess, um, and because of the eight schools within the district, they actually compete in sports against each other, which I think is just flat out phenomenal. So when it comes down to it, Levine actually also offers a couple of uh, charter schools in the area as well, um, as well, of course, uh, as the Levine Public School. So as far as charter schools, you've got Country Gardens, which is around 67th Avenue and uh, Southern area. And this is their mission right here. The mission of the Country Gardens Charter School is to nurture academic, social, and emotional success for all students to prepare them for a lifetime of learning as productive, well-rounded citizens. Now, the cool thing about Country Gardens and I've been there and I, I've met some of the people is that they're very hands-on. It's a very much hands-on experiential learning and uh, a lot of the kids get a chance to learn how to, you know, work with animals because they do have some acreage there that, uh, you know, they farm, they take care of animals and then as they get older, the older students actually also run the cafeteria, um, which is phenomenal. So they're learning how to cook, they're learning how to take in money, all those different things. So really kind of a cool thing. Um, here is a picture of you know, the school right here. And uh, they also actually have an aquatic center. They have a huge, huge um, you know, aquarium in their facility right there in the building that you see. But uh, this is one of the charter schools in the area. Another charter school is um, the uh, Riverbend Prep. Riverbend Preparatory Academy was founded on the simple principle, conviction that all children can learn and that every child can be challenged to reach his or her fullest potential. It is their mission at Riverbend Prep to provide within a safe and stimulating environment individualized education that addresses students' unique learning needs while developing our students to be positive, respectful, dependable, and act with integrity in preparation for high school and beyond. And here is a picture of the front of this school. Uh, I have never been into this school. I really couldn't tell you much about it, but uh, it is pretty well attended as well. Now, in addition, we do have uh, the Legacy Traditional School. Uh, they have got pretty good ratings as well. You'll have to check all these schools out to see what the ratings are. The Legacy Traditional Schools has seen some great success with the back to basics approach to learning. It's a way to stick with what works in education, to challenge students, and really focus on developing highly capable learners. Some things that make our approach so successful, they indicate, is to include an accelerated pace of study, high expectations for academics and behavior, self-contained K-6 classes, 
Mel to Mel instruction, integrated language arts curriculum, and they do actually have, you know, athletic things as well at this particular school. Um, it's a beautiful facility. So that there are some of your choices as far as uh, the charter schools go. Now so when it comes down to it, there are, of course, a couple of high schools in the area as well that one can, you know, select. You've got two that are public high schools, and those are part of the Phoenix Union High School. They namely are uh, Betty Fairfax and Cesar Chavez High School. Both of them have great facilities. They're both relatively new. Cesar Chavez has actually been there a little bit longer than Betty Fairfax, but um, both of them great schools, and um, they offer a lot of different activities and whatnot. And then you've also got Heritage Academy, which is this building right here. And um, Heritage is actually a charter school. They go actually 7th through 12th, another great school to consider in the area. Anyway, I hope this has been beneficial to you. Those there are the high schools um, for the area. So are you seeing a move to the Levine area sometime in your near future? Well, I hope this little video has helped as far as the Levine Elementary Schools let you know that indeed there are some choices out there. There are links down below in the uh, comments section with a lot of the different schools that I've talked about so that you can go to their websites and find out a little bit more because truly a lot of these schools offer so many really great programs. Truly, I do not think that you can go wrong. Anyway, uh, I hope you did find it beneficial and if you did, let me know by liking liking it, commenting, subscribe, share, hit that little bell so that uh, you're notified every time I upload a new video. And there is links down below um, for homes that are for sale in the area. Uh, as I mentioned, first off, I am a realtor in the area, so um, I do know quite a bit about the area. And if you are looking to make a move, I'd love to earn your business as well. Again, hope you enjoyed it. See you on the next video.